What is up, my friends? Uh, I'm here with my coworker friend, Lorden Ligaya. Yeah. I'm gonna be working with this guy as far as Iron Bunny. We're gonna do a collaboration. He has his own um, company, a media company. He does, look at that. Sunglasses media. He does a, um, a lot of video, video uh, editing. He's pornos. really good. We do a lot of pornos. Veer was one of my first uh, clients. I he wanted me to film him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't no, do that I'm stuff. <laughs> um, El, can you pull up your, your website real quick? So we could see them. So L actually works with a lot of companies as far as like um, uh, CrossFit, MMA. I work with him with MMA and uh, we were talking about, you know, the niche of uh, Iron Bunny Supply, which is like we talk about, you know, bodybuilding. I have, we have, we both have like mutual friends in bodybuilding and also like um, in MMA because we work together. Um, we kind of talk about, you know, what's a niche for Iron Bunny and we we both agree the Iron Bunny is more in a MMA kind of scene because like that's where I kind of like blew up when I met um, the Team Alpha Male and like you know like them rocking that stuff like that's where everything really started. So yeah, this is um, Elle's work. It's uh, probably a lot of corporate shit on here, which doesn't look as cool, but let's check it out. Travel shit. So I'll do do this kind of high highlight reels. Used to work in the car industry, so I did a lot of that stuff. Let's see what else? Oh, there's some fitness. That's uh, Barbell Yoda on IG. <laughs> uh, meal prep company Pro Train. I went to uh, Le Mans. Did some race car stuff. Where is that? Is I it in some Europe? More, yeah, it's in uh, France, Le Mans, France. There's some more pro train stuff, meal prep company. This is a software company I worked for. Traveled to Amsterdam for that. This was Beverly Hills. Uh, I do motion graphics stuff for the software company. Kind of boring, but I did get to travel a lot. Car company, SEMA. But yeah, oh, well, that's some MMA shit. Some Iron Man. That's our friend Vince Mordock. Yes. You're right, yeah, I did some videos for him. Bodybuilding. <laughs> Bodybuilding, more graphics. I just do a whole bunch of different different types of stuff. Yeah, so I met L like how many like when did we met like a year, two years ago? Probably around two two years ago or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so the reason why I hit him up, because he's actually Filipino and he's based here in Sacramento. And my brother met him first and my brother's telling me about oh there's this guy like he's Filming uh, one of the friends that we we knew. Oh, look at that! Yeah, he's that guy. <laughs> he got his own stuff too. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we kind of like connected through Instagram. We're like, you know, we talk about the vision for Iron Bunny. Um, you know what I wanted to do as far as like you know helping kids back in the Philippines. Um, a lot of um, a lot of stuff we talked about. Um, which one? was like the best like like when we talk about which one was like that like really got you to work with iron bunny so i met you through your brother mark at the gym so i was filming at the gym for marco and mark was at the gym and he's like he hit me up on instagram he said hey you should meet my brother because he has this clothing line called iron bunny so we met up and i really liked his his designs his ideas the name was pretty sick too and like it's very ironic like a bunny is very soft and gentle, but then you have iron and then iron bunny. Usually things that are ironic work in a way, you know. So <laughs> I really like that. Um, then you started working with a lot of what, like fighters, right? Mm -hmm. um, and bodybuilders. Because mm -hmm. you knew enhanced athlete or Tony or whatever. Um, but at the time, I didn't think you knew exactly where iron bunny was direction yeah to go um, and then we were just talking earlier you kind of wanted to focus more on like a streetwear slash activewear um, type of clothing line and, we, and I was like oh that's probably just like lift fit but then lift fit actually focuses more on so their sales comes more from like bodybuilding and fitness like those are the people that buy 
live fit gear, but their style is more like streetwear. Yeah. But Iron Bunny, I saw as more streetwear, MMA fighter, kind of like gritty, darker, tattoos, um, crazy hair, piercings, like that kind of style. Something like more wild. Gritty, yeah. Skater ish, dirty, grimy, you know, that kind of style. Uh, and that's more streetwear rather than active wear. But, and the style is more, what would you say? The style. Not the design, maybe, but like the type of clothes. It's more active, right? Like you have joggers. Yeah, for me, I want to start over to where like I want it to be more of like just you know a hoodie, a shirt, to where people could wear it outside, like outside or <clears throat> the training outside, like uh, outside you know the comfort zone or like inside a comfort zone. I want it to be more versatile to where like, you know, oh, I could just throw that shirt. If it's me, I could just throw that shirt like, oh, I like this design. I could I could wear this working out and I could also wear this like just eating outside or hanging out like with my friends or like going out. So like I want something like that to where like, you know, there's a lot of brands out there. Like uh, the one thing that I really like I look forward to is just you said like you 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 were like a huge fan is uh, Babe uh, Japan. And I think that's like. If, you know, a year from now or six months from now, I think Iron Bunny will be somewhere uh, kind of like that style. But I want to start it more to where, like, it's just plain, simple, you know, like, just want to promote active lifestyle and want to promote, like, the fashion. Like, you know, because, like, that's what I really want. Like, I like the fashion side of it. <clears throat> and Al is big in fashion, too. So that's where, like, I'm really excited to work with him and his... Um, his skills on um, like video editing, motion graphics. Uh, what were we gonna be doing first? We're gonna do a lookbook, right? Like a video lookbook. Yeah, video lookbooks um, for the new, I guess, season. I don't know if you're gonna do seasonal. Are you gonna do seasonal stuff? Uh, not or for are, now. Right, I think I'm gonna start with like the hoodie. This uh, I'm gonna probably gonna do the hoodie, the shirt, the tank top, and the long sleeve because okay. I wanna put put those for a staple. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna add a shorts soon, but we'll we'll see. I wanna try and like really like um, keep it yeah keep it simple and like really wanted to like um, plan it ahead of time because I don't wanna like make something and then like I kind of make too much like what I did like, previous year. So like now we want I want it to be very simple. Um, I'm also gonna be working with his brother. I'm gonna interview him. As far as like why he wants to work with Iron Bunny, uh, his brother is a blogger. He's gonna have he has his own. Um, he has his own gay porn website. So if you ever want to look it up, it's uh, at Dan I Dan. am I am, what is his IG? <laughs> I am Dan Dan the Great. I don't know. I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah, uh, he, he has his own blog. He he's, he does like um, kind of like what's his name the, the other blogger guy. Uh, Casey, yeah, Casey Neistat. Yeah, that's yeah. one of his inspirations. So. He likes his brother is kind of crazy. Yeah. He he been, he went to the Philippines to uh, he wants to, what he does is like he travels. He went to Africa to, uh, how do you, what do you say that? He uh, does. Uh, he did volunteer work, yeah. humanitarian work, um, just to see how the slums were in Africa. Uh, Kibera. Um he went there twice. Um, he also did. Where did he go? Philippines. He went to the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. He saw some gangster shit out there too. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, me growing up in the Philippines, I was telling his brother that, you know, like I grew up there, I got robbed and all this kind of stuff, and there's a lot of street kids, so hopefully one day we could, like, use Iron Bunny to be, to, like, an advantage for for us to help these kids, you know, this kids just, like, r running around the streets, like, doing bad stuff, so, I mean, that's, like, the whole goal moving forward, and, yeah, we're trying to make the Iron Bunny great again. That's also one reason why I really wanted to work with Veer is because we want to give back. At the end of the day, um, I know America is all about that grind, all about that money. But once you get there, um, money doesn't really matter as much anymore. You want to have a fulfilled life. Mm -hmm. And after that, it's what? It's, it's giving back. That's what actually makes you feel good. Altruism, um, doing humanitarian things. And the best way to give back is actually to give people jobs. Mm -hmm. If you could give them jobs, then they can work for themselves and make their own money rather than you giving them money and then they use it 
and then they're back to square one. Mm-hmm. If they could make money, and if you can give them jobs, then they're better off. They have a better life. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So. So we're giving. We're trying to give jobs. We will give jobs back. You know. And we're sure. also going to have like I thought of this idea like I want to have a gym to where like kids street kids um, like you know kids that doesn't have anything could go there and have classes for them for free and Iron Bunny will pay for the instructor and then the, the gym and you know we can pay for their education you know trying to give them like a really bright future as far as like you never know these kids might end up represent representing like their countries as far as like Olympics. You know, like that's like, man, a dream. Yeah, like that kid, sick. we just had that on that gym, and now he's representing his country. So, like, yeah, that's gonna be the whole goal. We're also gonna be working in uh, with guys from Africa. Stay tuned with that. Um, Japan and Korea and Australia. I'm pretty excited with this. So, hopefully, you guys stay tuned and um, look forward uh, to where we're gonna be at next. So, peace out, bye.